Yeah, no, I, I think the, the start we got off to the first half, that was it all came together and on both ends. And, you know, again, we were uh, passing well, making some threes, getting to the rim. And I just liked, um, you know, again, when when you're scoring and the defense is, is right, that's that's what you hope for and look for. And uh, again, it was just a good time. And now the second half was another story. I thought we showed our, at times, our, our inexperience and our uh, inability to to be mature and just keep playing. Maybe you're not going to play at that exact level, but it shouldn't dip as much as it did. But we'll grow from that. And again, to win on the road. And um, you know, Louisville's capable. I know that their record isn't good, but and they're without JJ Trainer. That's affected them. I know he's a, he's a good player, and they got some guys back. But the way we got started, um, we were right. And I'm sure after their Duke game, they they probably were a little flat. Yeah, back here. Louisville's a team that's really struggled defensively the past couple of games. What was the plan of attack coming in offensively for a day like this? And when you guys are feeling yourself the way you did in that first half, how do you just keep things up? Yeah, I think, um, you know, our, we're pretty consistent. You know, we just we look at how our team's guarding us. I mean, they were hustling, but when our offense can get moving, and again, some of the outside shots are falling, the cutting and the moving and those things. And I thought Reese was setting the table. Our, off, our defense turned into some offense, too. Uh, and we've been on that side of it. When you're struggling to score, it puts so much pressure on your defense. But um, we just, you know, we did what we typically do against other teams. And again, today our timing was right, and guys looked fresh and ready. And and we wanted to get off to that good start, which they certainly did. Right here. Yeah, Tony. In the games you guys lost to, I think on the road to Notre Dame and Wake and NC State, they hurt you from three-point shooting. Louisville only made one until like the last three minutes. Did you take that away from them, or did you feel like they weren't looking for it? Or what no, happened? I thought we were sharp today. We we changed even when we played them at our place a couple of our our coverages, and I we've just you know we've we've struggled at times, and we've just tried to go go to work, simplify, but uh, really uh, hold our guys uh, a high standard and high account about what it means to get to shooters, but still to protect the lane and and try to have them not thinking too much, but get there and and. Again, we've been working at it and taking a step in our practices even to take that away. Uh, you know, that being said, it, it went away in the second half for us, but but we were there quicker than we were at other times. And um, you know, again, they because our offense was cooking that that puts a lot of pressure on them. And the few shots they got, they missed a couple open ones, and um, I think it kind of snowballed from there. Yeah, Tony, I guess I was going to ask about your defense. You knew Louisville had Mike James, Brandon Hunt and Hadfield, some guys that are capable of scoring. I guess how important was it to make it just difficult for those guys and not allow them to get into that rhythm? Very difficult. They got us in foul trouble early in the first half and in the second half. They're they're aggressive. I mean, their their scheme is sound, and, and they got guys that are – you know, it's funny when you, you get lose a few, it, it's hard. You're dealing with young guys to get them going, but they're tough to keep in front. And that's what I liked, what we did. Our guys, we said this is going to be an on-the-ball guard and get in a stance game. And yes, we'll be in, we'll guard actions, we'll try to be in the right spots, but you're going to have to take some ownership for sliding hard and well and making them make some tough contested shots. And then, obviously, we had some blocks and steals that added to it. But that they can they can do that and they play some good ball screen spacing stuff that I thought we covered better this time than last time. Yeah, I think it's helped us to have, you know, using Blake and Jordan kinda as complimentary, you know, when one's in, the other's out, and Jordan has played well. And I thought Blake in the last few games has really helped us. He showed even some offensive things, a little floater and, and moves there, but his activity and his length was valuable. So to have two kind of primary five men, and even though we got in foul trouble and had a mix and match at times, that's that's been helping us. And so it you know, again, everything came together in that first twenty minutes.